Using the new tabs update, we're gonna enter the map creator and recreate the Normandy landings from World War II. Yes, you heard that right. D-Day is coming to tabs. Now again, if you're new to this, basically you have six themes to choose from and you've got a bunch of templates that you can also choose from. I think we go for medieval and we go for large template and then we can trim this down to be a beach and then get the bunkers in there. It's gonna be delicious. Okay, create. Oh, right, here's what we're starting with. It's a nice blank template so you can kind of see how we'll be able to, in fact, this will be great for sculpting the cliffs. We'll just cut away like half the map to begin with, something like this. Also, if you are new to this new tabs update, and this is the first video you've watched, then genuinely, uh, like, I got to tell you, this, uh, this is a seriously big update for Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. <sighs> oh, I ran out of breath there. It's, it's, it's a long, it's a long name. It's a long name. Right, now what we're gonna do, start building up the terrain like this, and we'll just bring that all the way along, and then we can smooth it out later. We just need to get, like, the, the shape of it all down first. Now, if you're looking for a tutorial on this new tabs update for the tabs map creator, then I should have a tabs map creator tutorial, which I actually released yesterday, so I would recommend you go watch that if you want to figure out what the hell I'm doing right now. Okay, so we got the kind of like the, the basis for this. Now by holding down the middle mouse button, we can smooth all of this out. We probably want to, I mean, obviously there wants to be a couple of ways up. So we'll probably like make like a way up there. And then maybe we make a couple of like sneaky ways up, like on the side that are much smaller though. Or yeah, okay, let's make like a way round. Let's get, let's get cheeky with this. It's always upsetting when you get like one little bit of material that's just like there. And then again, we can build up this material uh, systematically to allow our wobble to clamber up the side here it might be a little bit steep one thing to remember is just not to make your like not to make the ascents too steep because well well, it, it, it just won't work, <laughs> to, put it, to put it quite simply. And then there we go. We got the basis of what we're going to build here. So it's going to be like a bunch of German bunkers up here. But what we probably want to do to begin with is we probably just want to make these uh, the cliffs just a bit higher as well. Okay, so I'm sure you'll agree that that looks absolutely horrifying. Uh, so let's do a little bit of smooth work. And it will hopefully not look so absolutely horrific to look at. Which is, which is what we're going for here. Not awful is the benchmark we're working with. Okay, I think we've got the beginnings of a D-Day map. So what we now need, I believe, is we probably want some more like uh, some more beach on here. Some like actual water on here that we can see. Okay, that looks about right. So hopefully they can actually spawn in the water only just and then walk out of it. Now for the fun bit, just as we did in the last trench battle, a really good way of making kind of craters that look like explosions are to just, well, to just actually do explosions, <laughs> basically. Now, on the medieval map what are the like what are the two like what does this do okay so that goes cliffs. Ah, interesting. This goes a sandy color, which is, well, very convenient for us. I mean, look at that as a template. That's not bad. That is a pretty good starting point, if you ask me. Okay, let's start having a look at some of the buildings we could potentially put down. So these bricks could be useful for bunkers. Let's just have a quick look at the scale of... Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe a little bit too small, but let's see how big it goes. Okay. Uh, yep, no, that'll work. <laughs> yeah, that, that should do the job. That'll work. Maybe a bunker here. Ah, this one's gonna have to have two on it, right? This one's just gonna have to have two on it. And then one more there. Now, it'll make sense to you in a minute, well, I hope. Let's have a look. What else could be useful in here? I mean, I guess just a load of them. You just need to scale them up like loads. You just gotta be imaginative and creative with it. I mean, those look like those could be sandbags. Rubble is always good. A staircase is always... Oh, good. these are good stairs. Those are those are excellent stairs. I'm making it up as I go. You, you, you can probably tell. <laughs> I still think it'll look good, though. Okay, there you go. That is where I'm gonna build my bunkers. Hmm, it's gonna be interesting to see how I can build these bunkers. It's gonna be hard work, honestly. Now, what we can do is we can make this ball really small and really, really slowly kind of smooth this out and try and shape this into something that makes a little bit more sense. And also something that looks a little bit less, like, kind of uniform or patternized. Is patternized a word? I don't know. Is now. Okay, here we go. So uh, again, hopefully now you can see it just looks a little bit less kind of clean and pristine. It just gives it that extra edge. It just makes it look a little bit more real, I would say. And then again, if we come over to four, we're going to paint this bad boy. 
Yeah, there we go. This is looking a bit more like it now. Okay, this is just a quick recap of where we've got to. You can see how this is going to piece together. I'm actually quite excited. Now, let's also get ourselves a little bit of vegetation at the back here just to make things look a little bit more interesting. Maybe not quite so much as that, but... And then we can get the grass, at least, at the very least, on the rest of it up here as well. And just kind of... It just, again, will just help kind of distinguish it from the beach because the beach is obviously going to be a bit barren and, um, well, not have anything on it, basically. Now, should we get like a house, like one small house at the back here. I was just thinking something like that, like right at the back might just help give us a little bit of detail. Now, let's try to prototype one of these bunkers. Let's go for this one because it seems nice and evenly grounded. You ready? This probably makes more sense to be honest. Yeah, this makes way more sense. What was I thinking? Why am I so stupid? Okay, yeah, this is going to make a little bit more sense, I think. This is going to make more sense. I don't know what I was thinking there. That that That's just a bit stupid to be honest. I don't know what was going through my head. All right, let's get another one of those. I wish they retained their size when you copied them. Okay, that somewhat resembles the beginning of a bunker. We just need to obviously get the bit on the top of it and then do it five more times. Oh. Okay, so I've now made quite a lot of progress on the map. I've now finished all of the bunkers. I'm, I'm not going to give them a roof because honestly, it's, it's more hassle than it's worth. But as you can see, I've also put these sandbag positions kind of looking down on the beach as well and on the entranceways up here. Now, as the units make their way up here, I've also dug a couple of trenches up here to put more defensive units in. And then we've got a long one over here by the main entrance, again with sandbags that will be shooting directly into it. Now, to make this battle a little bit more interesting, you never want just, oh, they run up here and then they battle and that's it. You want the maps to be a little bit more dynamic. So what you can see that I've done here is I've effectively used these walls to cut off the side entrance. So if we come up the side and follow this round, you'll see it kind of snakes around and then there's a back passage to this bunker rather than you just run up the side and then you can just get access to the entire base. You're going to have to fight your way around here and then in. I'm also thinking about whether or not I can kind of make a big like, um, you know, an extra bunker complex up here. So there's just another level to capture. So it's not just, oh, they run up, they shoot some guys, battle over. You want the battles to last long, which is one of my main criticisms of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator is I'll spend 30 minutes doing formations for a battle and then the battle lasts 10 seconds. So yeah, I think I'm gonna give that a try. And uh, in order to do that, let's, well, we need to burn some things first, which is good, which is fine, because I, I like burning stuff. So let's just create something really big and then we can kind of chip away at it. Okay, let's have a quick look. How does that look? That looks like we can get a good big bunker on there. Nice. Okay, that actually looks like a, a pretty good map, dare I say. I'm gonna do a couple of finishing touches and then we're gonna find out, well, if it actually works. But what I really wanted to see if I could find was some sort of setting so that I could um, change this, this line down the middle. Because otherwise, I don't think in this version of the game, I don't think you can actually, like, move it. So I may have just done a, a, a very big oops. <laughs> well, so I think we just load it up and start a battle. Yeah. Let's give it a go. Actually, maybe it would make sense to use the, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, what I'll do is I'll make the Germans these ones, because then we can use both of these, and we can also use up here as well. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. This video idea is falling apart, uh, falling apart at the seams. Hey, at least I tried. Let's get a, a general up there, I guess. Let's get a bunch of those guys there. I'm also gonna put, like, a couple of them in here, and just see, just because I want to really test how well this kind of area works, essentially. Right, now for the Yankees. Let's just, uh, let's just spam a bunch of them down here. Why not? A couple of bazookas. Right, let's begin the battle. Okay, look at this. Oh, it works perfectly. Look, these guys have run around the top and the other ones have run around the bottom. I am very impressed myself. Okay, let's look at the rest of the battle. They do avoid the potholes pretty well here, actually. And honestly, this is an actual World War II D-Day map. I've done a thing. I've done an actual thing and it's not bad. Let's see if these guys can get up and let's see. Yeah, oh my God. This beats like any of the D-Day mods and maps and stuff like that I've seen 
mean? Because, wait, this tabs map creator update is gonna be so big. It's gonna be so big for the game. Okay, they've successfully taken down that trench, and they're now moving in two directions. They're trying to- oh, they've taken down the MGs as well. They now need to take out this little defensive fortification here, and they also need to make their way up to the top to take down these guys up here. Now, the cannon's gonna be firing at point blank range, and he's killed himself. I didn't even have time to say he was gonna kill himself, and also, look at this. They can even get all the way up there. Like, even that part of this map works. Like, genuinely, everything has worked as expected, except from that right there. I don't know, that was some serious team killing right there. They have a little bit of difficulty, but they do eventually get up there. But what have the Germans got left, actually? Oh, is it just, just genuinely this one guy here? Well, rip that guy. What about down here? Oh, no, sorry, I didn't realize, but this defensive line is somehow holding on to control of this area. And pretty well, the sandbag little formation things, they work really nicely, actually. Okay, these are now officially the last man left in this battle. This is this took a lot of effort. Between this and my last tabs World War One trench map, I think I've done a pretty good job at making these maps. Like, let me know in the comment section what you want to see next. But there we go, the Americans have finally won that battle. Make sure you subscribe for more Tabs Map Creator gameplay and battles and map making, live streams, tutorials, a whole lot. I'm gonna be doing everything, spamming it relentlessly because of how big this update is. So yeah, subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on and join my Discord. And I'll see you in the next one.